I watch Netflix's shockingly evil, extremely wicked, and vile. Um, such a long name just to say it's the T Theodore Bundy movie. Um, it was amazing. I had high hopes going into it, and they never let go. They never dissipated. Um, I do love how they kind of went like out of their way to not get into the crimes that much. It was maybe for three times they mentioned the crimes in like gory detail. So that was cool. Um, it was more so like another side of him to where he really was innocent. And like, then it was like, oh, so we have to have this case. So you gotta talk about it. So that was cool. Um, Zach Efron was amazing. Like, he looks like Ted Bundy, which is fucking insane. Um, Lily Collins was great. Sheldon Cooper was good. John Malkovich was good. Like, I forget those last two people were in the movie. Um, Haley Joe Osment was in it. It was crazy. Like, that's the little dude. Like, it's so, like, he always would be the little dude from Sixth Sense. It's crazy. Um, but it was good. Some parts was even funny. So that's so horrible to say. Um, but it's a lot of stuff I didn't know because I don't follow serial killers. But it was so good, man. Like, it's such a good movie. Like, I'm going to keep it in my 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 list. Man, it was so good. Like, I really had high hopes, and it lived up to it. Like, do you know how rare that is? <laughs> but it's, it was so good. Like, I thought it came out Saturday, but it came out Friday. So I had to, like, restructure my snacks and shit. But <sighs> seriously, it was good. I might watch it again.